Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node sign. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Libra, so it will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please make sure to check your other placements. Let's see how Libra is viewing their connection with this person, please. What's in their mind space? How Libra is viewing this connection? Ace of Cups, Ten of Wands. Let's get one more card. One more card, please. The world. Right. I see Libra. Right. With the King of Pentacles and Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups and Two of Pentacles here and Ace of Wands and the King of Swords. I see they're all connected in here, you see. I see you being on a kind of a crossroads here. I see you being... Um, there is love on your part, lots of it, and passion with the Ace of um, Wands there that we've seen. And um, all these kings and queens here, I see it's, it's actually, it's, it's all your energy. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, with, the, with the world here, you could be dealing with the fixed sign, right? Uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo maybe. But what I see, Libra, is that um, uh, it feels to me like in order for this connection to happen or to progress or to enter, uh, to, to finish the old cycle and to enter the new cycle here, I see you with the Ten of Wands here and all these court cards. Um, it feels like, you know, this energy of being on your maximum, trying your best, you know, um, there is something that has to be has to be done. There is some kind of um, it will be different for all of you. For some of you, I see that uh, the distance actually could be the obstacle between you and this person. For others, it could be something else. Um, but I see that there is some there is something that you have to overcome in order uh, for this connection to work. Actually, to work and. Um, I see you uh, with all these energies. I see all these kings and queens and as being your energy, as you trying to be logical and grounded and emotional at the same time and all of that. And uh, it, it gives you kind of heaviness. With the Ten of Wands here, I, I see you trying to probably carry a little bit more than you can or a little bit more than is actually healthy for you here, right? This is where this heaviness uh, comes from. Let's see how this person is viewing their connection with Libra. What's in their mind space, please? How this person is viewing their connection with Libra at this time? What's in their mind space, please? Eight of Wands. Three of Wands, yes, I was getting a distance. I see a lot of communication between you and this person. I see a lot of waiting involved on, on their part. Let's get one more card. Let's get one more card. I see that something is in motion here, right? It's, uh, some decisions were made and uh, both of you are trying to make this happen. In some shape or form. Right. Two of Wands here. Yes, I see this person also uh, planning, planning a lot and uh, and waiting for um, communicating these plans to you. I see a lot of back and forth communications. I see that you are exchanging plans. You are discussing a lot of things like how how to make it work, how you can do this uh, together. Uh, all fine. All fine. With the page of coins here on the bottom of the deck, on this person's part, I see them um, 
been maybe a little bit, I wouldn't say uh, childish or immature here, but I would say a little bit um, less energetic. Like it, it feels to me like at this time you are pulling the, the biggest weight in this relationship. Right? I see them planning with you and discussing with you and waiting for things to happen. Mm, but I see, yes, a lot of heaviness on your side. I see you taking a lot upon yourself. Maybe a little bit more than you should, right? Maybe even the, the situation does not demand that much of, a, of an effort on your part. Well, it's not like I'm saying don't, uh, don't put any effort. Of course do. That's, uh, that's what we do inside our relationships, right? But just uh, be mindful because it, it looks like it's getting heavy for you. Let's see what's in Libra's heart space at this time. How they feel about this person. King of Wands. Page of Wands. Let's get one more card. One more card, please. How Libra feels about this person. Justice could be dealing with another Libra here. I see with the Four of Wands and uh, Knight of Pentacles here in the bottom of the deck. I see you are feeling yourself, uh, I see this King of Wands as also as your energy. You're feeling uh, quite empowered. I see you again feeling like you are the one who is carrying their responsibility within this relationship somehow. Right? I see with the, with the Page of um, Wands here, definitely, definitely there is passion, there is curiosity, there is, you know, all these good things. And... Um, with justice here and the king of wands, uh, it feels like you are feeling empowered, you are feeling capable inside this situation. But also justice is telling me once again uh, that, um, you know, uh, probably things should be a little bit more uh, balanced. You know, um, in terms of um, putting the energy in, I, I see that you are, you are very, very passionate and very determined uh, to create some kind of balance within this relationship, to create uh, a just situation for both of you. And uh, I'm afraid you are taking a lot upon yourself making decisions here as well. But let's see. Let's see what's in this person's heart space. Nine of Swords. Nine of Wands, I see. Let's get one more card. One more card, please. What's in their heart space? How they feel about Libra and this relationship? How they feel about Libra and this relationship? Ten of Wands as well. You see, with the with the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands and Two of Swords here in the bottom of the deck, I see that this person is is uh, very passionate about you as well. It's uh, absolutely reciprocated here, and I see that they would like to to take an action, but they I, I see them confused, being confused, and know how. I see this person actually quite up in their head about this relationship and what's going on in there. And uh, this also, this is why, probably, you know, with the Nine of <clears throat> nine of Swords here and Nine of Wands, uh, I see them, um, I see them fighting actually some kind of internal battle uh, inside their mind. Uh, it looks like they are, they are afraid that this is not possible or it's not going to happen or the obstacle is too large 
Well, there is no obstacle too large, but this is how this person thinks at the moment, and it makes them feel uh, the same heaviness like you do. That's why they probably, I think you're picking up on that. I think you, I, I think you are picking up on this, on this energy, and you feel like at this very moment, this person is not able to put uh, the same amount of effort like you do because uh, most big, biggest part of their time and energy goes uh, into fighting their own demons here you know their own anxieties their own doubts they may be even having sleepless nights over that so what's left is actually they they i see them only persevere i don't see them walking away i don't see them refusing from this connection but i see that at this point in time i'm not saying it's not going to change but right now the energies are, are like this. They are not able to put a lot of effort uh, into actually bringing this uh, connection to the next level or the next stage uh, like you would like to. I see it with the four of um, ones on your, on your side. They are not able to put this effort because uh, their energy goes into, into fighting uh, with themselves, right? And uh, and they can only like be there. Yes, they are. They are not going anywhere. They want to be with you. I can see that. I can see that. But I also see that uh, they spend too too much energy fighting with the fears that their mind is is telling them. And we all know that the mind can create thousands and thousands of stories. Uh, why this or that cannot happen or may not happen or what if what if this you know what ifs buts all of that so um yeah that's why you probably and and also i see i see you are you are being in your power this is why probably you are trying to to handle everything on your own by yourself i don't know for how long this can be but let's see what actions are they going to take Oh, I'm very glad to see the, the Temperance here and the Ten of Cups on their side. Ooh, sorry. Something is, is with the air signs today. Your cards are flying all over. Mm, but let's get one more card. Wait, I will just get them straight. Let's get you one more card. For this person's actions. What actions this person is going to take towards Libra? I see them balancing themselves out, at least trying to. Let's see. Yes. That's what I wanted to see. Queen of Wands. Let's see what actions Libra is going to take towards this person. What actions Libra is going to take towards this person at this time? Please keep in mind that the energies can go vice versa. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Let's get one more card. One more card, please. Empress. Right. Wonderful, actually, wonderful, Libra. So what I see is going to happen. Um, uh, I think this person with the Queen of Wands here and the King of Wands on your side, I see them actually picking up on your on your power, on your strength, on your energy, on your uh, probably dedication to the cause, uh, on your um, enthusiasm right? Uh, literally, it's like, uh, I want to match Libra. So, this makes them actually, uh, with the page of coins here on the bottom of the deck on this side, and page of cups, right? I see them making small steps, um, opening their heart, actually. I see them going, getting out of this uh, Nine of Swords energy. 
I, mean, I see them getting out of their mind. With this page of cups here, I see them opening their heart towards themselves and towards this relationship and towards the world. It's actually, it's like, you know, it looks to me like you have a very good influence on this person, to be honest. Because they look at you and uh, what they see is taking them out of, uh, of this pit they put themselves in. Right? Out of this heaviness. And I see, I see they're trying to follow your energy and on the way, I, with the temperance here, <clears throat> could be dealing with Sagittarius or Taurus, Libra also. Uh, I see them pulling themselves out, balancing themselves out. Uh, I see them start moving towards this Ten of Cups with you, towards this, uh, you know, emotional fulfillment with you, towards this happiness with you. Uh, as for you, I see that uh, you keep probably, I see you doing a lot of work on yourself. I see a lot of major arcana on your part here and the world and uh, justice and empress now. I see that you keep feeling empowered, maybe a little bit. Uh, from time to time I see you getting yourself out of balance. This is probably due to uh, a bit of this heaviness, but also... This could be, you know, for some of you, this could be the case that you are so used to to carry the whole weight of this relationship, right? So when this person takes uh, some some part of, of this uh, load, let's say, and uh, is trying to help you energetically or emotionally or however they are trying to help you here, you are losing balance because you're so, you, you are so used to, to pull this all on your own. So for you it's maybe a little bit, um, but I don't see this actually as a major uh, major energy. Uh, you could be losing balance a little bit, right? But I see you finding it back very quickly with the Queen of uh, Cups here. I see you actually and the Empress. Uh, as a matter of fact, I see this an as an opportunity and you are taking the opportunity to take care of yourself. To take, uh, you know, to be more more gentle with yourself, right? Uh, as soon as you see this person uh, getting empowered, I see you taking, uh, you taking your time and uh, this can be only beneficial for this relationship because this will bring you to this uh, Empress energy and from this energy you can create anything. You know, the Empress is, is someone who is manifesting just that that easy, who is creating things very easily around themselves. So, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm very happy for you, Libra. I'm very happy that it's, uh, this reading is ending up this way. And uh, this is what I have for you. I hope it helped in some way, and I hope to see you again. Bye, Libra.